show you give me your attention we are surrounded by the cloud of many witnesses are you understanding me we are surrounded by the cloud of many witnesses there was one day Stephen brought the word of truth to a perverse and crooked generation and God knew he was going to die and God knew that Stephen needed grace to go through the process of death and die without bitterness and make sure he made heaven. What did God did? God looked at the cloud of many witnesses and found dimensions of grace in Moses and picked it and put it on Stephen. And the Bible said the face of Stephen began to glitter than like the face of Moses. Why are we surrounded by the cloud of many witnesses? So that when we cannot lay aside the sin, we cannot lay aside the weight. Go look into the cloud and found someone who paid the price here on earth and unlocked dimensions of grace and left the earth. And God would take something from him and put in the life of someone here on earth. Before you know, you start manifesting fasting a grace that was in the bible are you understanding what i'm saying something is leaving the cloud of many witness upon your life here today some of you will get something from paul you will get something from stephen you will get something from elijah it's coming upon you in the name of jesus if jezebel is on your case god will bring something from elijah i say if jezebel is on your case god will bring something from elijah i say if Jezebel is on your case, God will pray something from Elijah. Are you understanding me? If women are on your case, the Moabites, God will go to finals, who carry the spear and pierce the, the people and shut down the anger of God. God will pick something from him. What am I talking about? The finished work of Jesus in the life of our fathers is reserving the clouds for it to drop upon us when we don't have the energy to lay aside the sin. Something is about to happen to you today. Energy is coming through you from the throne of God. Receive it in the name of Jesus. We are surrounded by the cloud. Some of you, if you are unstable like Peter was, he was unstable. He denied Jesus. They said, do you know him? He said, no, I don't know him. But after the outpouring of the Holy Ghost, Peter touched certain grace that made him even discuss with death. And if you are today, you are fond of denying Jesus. You cannot stand. God is carrying something from Peter. The same work he did in Peter, he will repeat it in your own life. In the name of Jesus, stability will come. Strength will come. Stability will come. Strength will come. In the name of Jesus. That is why we are surrounded by the cloud. Of many witnesses. So that when we are running the race. And we fall down. God look into the cloud. And pick a grace dimension. And put in your life. I say get up my son. Get up my daughter. The battle is tough. Stand on your feet. I am your shield. I am your strength. Get back to the race. Get back to the race. Run the race. Finish your course. Fight a good fight. Keep the faith. Run the race. that's the riches of his grace that's how rich the grace of God is I said that's how rich the grace of God is when I say he's going to create he's putting something in your life that never existed before and the time is going to come as you open the Bible you will see something about you in the Bible you will see something about you in the Bible character because God has picked something for the cloud of many witness he will look at Elijah what did I do in Elijah let me repeat in the life of Takim what did I do in the life of Elijah let me repeat in the life of someone here in the house what did I do in the life of 
Peter, in the life of Paul, let me repeat it. In the life of the three Hebrew boys that look at Nebuchadnezzar and say to hell with you. If you like hit the fire seven times, we are not going to bow. God will look at you. If you always bow to the flesh, you bow to the devil, you bow to anything, God will go to the three Hebrew boys and say, borrow me the grace that I put in you that make you survive the fire. Somebody in Kenya need it. Somebody in the crowd was put in it. Somebody on earth need the grace and the Holy Ghost will bring it and deposit in your life. Receive the grace. That is the riches. Recapture the grace. What God did in the three Hebrew boys is repeating upon you. The faith he kept them. The fire he kept them. The faith he kept them. The fire he kept them. Beyond compromise. Beyond compromise. Take it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. No more compromise. No more compromise. No more compromise. No more compromise. Recabo Setele. No more compromise. Your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. No more compromise. He bought you with a price. No more compromise. The finished work is coming upon you. It's coming upon you. In the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost if you can. Reach out in the Spirit. Recabo Setele Basata. Lord, take something. What you accomplish in the cloud of many witnesses, put it in my life. What you accomplish in the three Hebrew boys, put it in my life today. What you accomplish in Elijah, what you accomplish in Paul, what you accomplish in those fathers of faith that have gone ahead of us. We are here fighting the same battle. We are here touching the same devils. We are here pushing the same things. What you accomplish in Esther, what you accomplish in Esther, Lord, do it in my life. Eh? The things you accomplish, in the things you accomplish in Elisha, in Elisha, do it in my life. Eh? The things you accomplish, the dimensions of grace, dimensions of faith, they were able to resist sin, they uh, resist impurity, they stood up against that. What you accomplish, Lord, accomplish in my life today. Lord, execute it in my life today. Recabo setele my Accomplish it. Accomplish it. Accomplish it. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Ask for it. He said, ask and it shall be given. Knock, it shall be opened. Seek, you will find. Ask for it. What is it that you need? Which of the grace dimension? Which one do you need? Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. That which the Lord accomplished in the life of Elijah is still available. That which the Lord accomplished in the life of Paul is still available. That which the Lord accomplished in the light of John the Beloved. Who deal with the Antichrist? Who dealt with the Antichrist? Who expose the spirit of the Antichrist? Is still available for you. That would the Lord accomplish in the life of Jude? Is still available. That would the Lord accomplish in the apostles? Is still available for us. This is an apostolic church. This is an apostolic assembly. Lift up your voice and cry out what you accomplish in the life of our fathers. Let it be done today. Let it be accomplished in my life today. I need something from heaven. I need something from out of this world. Into my life. Eh? Hear my cry, oh God. Attain unto my prayer. In calibre soto le kayaba le mama ma kende le prosoto le le calabro sete le calaba satalia is able to create is able to give us a new heart he gave he gave Stephen the heart of so of Moses the heart and his face glittered his face glittered somebody can get the purity of Paul the consecration of Paul the discipline of Paul 
That is what somebody need here. The discipline of Elijah, the discipline of Moses, the purity of Moses, the meekness of God in Moses, the meekness of Christ in Moses, the meekness of Christ in Moses, the fire of Elijah. You need it here to overcome doubt, to overcome fear. Catch the flame, catch the dimension of grace. Catch what John the Beloved had, what the Holy Ghost did in John the Beloved is available for you to overcome the Antichrist, to overcome the works of the enemy, whatever it is. Lika Mosite Libra Satalia. Enkali Mosite Libra Baba. Rika Basata Likayaba. La Baba Kende Libra Satalia. In Jesus' name we pray whatever you have prayed may you go home with it